done it again, Gaffer, 100% record. <laughs> Stays, but it was tight. It was very tight, I thought. Um, toughest game we've probably had this year. I felt um, Sheffield Wednesday, you know, we knew before the game how, how strong they are as a team. I didn't expect them to set up in the shape that they did. They haven't been playing that lately, so that surprised us. Um, it took us about 20 minutes to settle into the game. We managed to change our shape to, to match them up a little bit and, and got a grip of the game. And then, yeah, half time they changed shape again. So we've had to like, think, okay, what, a, what we just spoke about, half time kind of goes out the window. So, yeah, it was, it was a hard night. And um, the players, credit to them, stuck, just kept, kept going, kept believing, kept um, trying to do the right things kept the energy up which we spoke about before the game if we could keep going for the last 20 minutes then we might have a chance and unbelievable that the way it ended probably should have had a goal maybe the one that was over the line possibly could have had a penalty but the big man slots one in at the end and it's all is forgotten all is forgotten exactly it kind of seemed like um, it was destined for Sam Cosgrove to score that winner after those those two chances as you say yeah, look, again, he made a big impact, as did all of the subs when he came on. I thought Jordan Alton was outstanding when he came on. Settled us right down in a bit of a dodgy spell that we were having. Brendan Galloway done the same, um, just calmed everyone down. Niall Ennis was a threat. Conor Grant looked like he's back. He finally had a few touches of the ball, having come on. And um, But yeah, Big Sam will take the headlines. And rightly so, his header was outstanding, one that we thought was over the line. And again, he was put himself about. He was good with his touch. And that header that he, that he scored... Prop- Again, it's another reason why he's here. I don't think anybody else in our squad could have done that. And what a good goal, what a win. <laughs> what a win. You mentioned just a moment ago about um, not maybe preempting what Sheffield Wednesday would be doing, and then they changed it again. And you've spoken a lot about players taking responsibility and making decisions themselves. Does that make this one even more pleasing that, that they had to problem solve? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. I think, um, look, we're doing our best on the sidelines to try and figure out what's going on and trying to get some information onto them. But when it's so loud in here, it's hard to, to try and say tactically how you need to change. So they have to see the problems that are happening and try and solve it themselves, I suppose, for as long as we can until you can get a message on. So in that break in the first half, we managed to get one on. In the second half, when their goalkeeper went down, we managed to speak about what we felt we needed to do. And that's just, again, it feels like it's a real high standard of the league. That That's the sort of challenges we've been coming up against. It's been hard. Like The lads have had to work incredibly hard every single game and, and show some resilience, show some good quality. And, and we did that tonight to say we didn't get it all our own way. Michael, again, made a brilliant save. Then their keeper made a brilliant save. They've hit the post a couple of times. So, yeah, maybe rolled our luck a little bit. But against a top, top team like them, then you're going to have to do that at times. But we've won. We've got three points on the board. Another three massive points. And we keep moving. Yeah, I mean, that's now every side in the top eight's played, I think. And, you know, we dropped just a one point against them. And that, oh, two points against them, and that was Portsmouth. So it's it's some, some standard we're setting. It's, yeah, it's brilliant and, and now it's important that we continue them standards. We can't drop off it and think that the hard work's done because it's not. Because Acklington is going to be an equally hard game on Saturday in, 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 for different reasons. So, yeah, the players are in good form at the moment. They're in um, good spirits. They're all enjoying what they're doing. The substitutes that are coming on, again, everyone can see wow, what, what a team performance it was. And um, Yeah, we just need that to continue as long as, as, we, as we can.